Commentary When someone mentions the name Lucille Ball, most people picture the red-headed comedian of the I Love Lucy sitcom in the 1950s. However, that was just part of her long, illustrious Hollywood career. Long before she and her real-life husband Daisy Arnaz became one of television's most beloved couples, she starred in many RKO films. Although now obscure, many of these are entertaining movies which gave Lucy a chance to showcase her dramatic acting skills. Today's moment of movie wisdom is from, Beauty for the Asking, 1939. The scene in question takes place 47 minutes into this 68-minute film. Wealthy but plain socialite Flora Barton, Frida Innescourt, asks beauty salon owner Jean Russell, Lucille Ball, for advice on her marriage. Flora knows that she is older than her husband Denny and that he isn't madly in love with her, but Jean bluntly tells her that she could make herself look better, offering to help transform Flora's appearance before her husband returns in six weeks. Jean's appraisal seems brutally honest, but it's a very unselfish action because she is in love with Denny herself but believes he should stick with his wife. The story. Pretty young beautician Jean Russell is thrilled because she finally has protected her formula for a multi-purpose face cream. She can't wait to tell her fiancé, Denny Williams Patrick Knowles, a cosmetic salesman. She is convinced that the cream will be their ticket to success and financial security. However, Denny has a surprise of his own when he returns from his business trip. He has met millionaires Flora Barton, and they are engaged. Flora, who is older than Denny and rather plain, is the only person who doesn't seem to realize that Denny is just marrying her for her $10 million. Jean is devastated when Denny tells her, but her best friend, co-worker, and roommate, Gwen Morris and Inez Courtney tries to convince her that she's well rid of Denny. When a client at the beauty shop is gossiping about Denny's marriage to the older woman, Jean grows so frustrated that she shoves cold cream in her mouth. Both she and Gwen are fired, so Gwen convinces Jean that it's time for her to start trying to sell her face cream. Jean goes to a big advertising firm and, mistaken for a model, gets into Jeffrey Martin's Donald Woods office. He doesn't want to hear about her idea, but she follows him to a restaurant at lunchtime and insists on sitting with him. He gets excited about the cream and launches a huge advertising campaign to open a salon. He solicits some of the wealthiest women in town, and the one socialite who responds is Mrs. Denny Williams, since she thinks it will create a good career opportunity for her new husband. Despite her reluctance to see Denny again, Jean goes through with the deal. Meanwhile, Denny doesn't take his marriage very seriously, and he is still interested in Jean.